hey guys what's up okay so i'm in the closet of the nursery right now and um i'm gonna be doing a video today on um how not to have a white trash child okay it's true so there are a lot of rules about it i'm not gonna get into behavioral things because jungle mothers um, they just like lose their minds about it, even though I, I'm just not, that's just not the topic of today. The topic of today is styling clothes and the style of today, or sorry, the topic of today is just general vibe. Okay. And to be honest, um, I'm going to tell you guys the truth about this. Like you're going to get offended because I'm sure a lot of moms out there just don't get it. And you're going to be like, what are you talking about? Like my kid doesn't look like like WT. And when I say WT, it's white trash. Do you guys use the word WT? I've always used the word WT. Like it's just something my family says. Okay. So WT. Um, anyway, and I look very big in this sweatshirt because it's an extra large. And, um, anyway, so let me get started. All right. So I've been really wanting to do this video. It's not going to be, I don't know how long it's going to be. I always say it's not going to be long, but it probably will be long. Okay. So there are a lot of rules about kids. The truth is I I'm telling you guys, for sure right now because you know I live in Southern California and so that's the vibe it's not like I live in like in Europe or in somewhere like I mean Southern California is considered like kind of bougie I guess right but it's like not it's very laid back it's very a mix of a lot of different people and I'm not talking about like I'm not talking I'm talking about like children who like, okay, I'm just talking, I can't explain it. We'll get into it. Okay. So there, are, I, it's very rare that I see a very well put together child. Okay. When I am talking about a well put together child, I am talking about a little princess. Okay. I am not talking about a little snot nosed brat with booger tubes running down its damn nose. Okay. Why don't, okay. First of all, why do parents do that? If my kid had booger tubes running down its nose, like, I would be startled. Like, I'd actually be disgusted. Like, how did you even let that happen? Okay. That's a lot. I feel like that's a lot of, like, Southern California people. They have, like, booger tube children who are obnoxious and loud and very, like, wokey. Very, like, new modern age moms. Like, just so not me. Like, I am praying that my child will be antisocial like me because that will just be better better suited to me if she's like Jason like I'm literally fucked like if she wants friends and stuff because I just can't relate and I don't want to you do know what I mean so whole other topic anyway there's a lot this is the thing you guys I know you guys love to come for me and tell me that like I'm not European this is the thing bitch okay this is the thing you dumb shit okay I am very European okay um, I grew up actually, we were very middle class, but my, because my mom worked for a travel agency, we got to travel. Okay. Because they used to be like really nice to travel agents and like give them free, like up tickets and upgrades and like hotel rooms, things like that. So I was fortunate enough that my, we got to travel and my mom is like, I'm half Greek. Like she's like first generation. Oh, means here. So it's like, I'm very European. I have family in, in Europe. You know what I mean? I traveled to see them. Like it was, you know what I mean? So sit your fucking white trash rat ass down who doesn't know anything from dog shit and shut up. Okay. And listen to the lecture. And hopefully when or if a guy will fuck you to have a child and you're going to say, oh, you couldn't get pregnant your IVF. Not the point. I'm old. Okay. That's why it's different. Okay. So anyway, and I'm actually happy it happened this way because I'm going to be stuck with a fucking idiot as a fucking father. Okay. Long story. Okay. <laughs> you guys know how these videos go. Come here. You want to sit with me? Come here. Okay. So anyway, Ming's here. You want to say hi? Oh, my friend. Okay. So anyway, she hates me though. She loves, she only loves Jason. She never loved me again. She will, she will never love me not even one time. She, she said, I can only love one person. I only have the ability to love one person. So, so that's it. I don't love you anymore. It's true. She's like, she, are, you, are you guys like that? My dog can only love one person. It's the weirdest thing. Okay. So, um, you're going to say that I'm not European. 
or whatever I try to I try so hard this is the thing I don't try hard at all I don't it's like I would never in a million years buy the clothing that you buy for your children I see kids out and I'm like what the what are the what are you wearing like why would you choose that for your kid like oh my god like stop and that's the truth so I'm gonna show you guys some things and I'm telling you about 90% of the stuff that I've purchased so far is not from the states like we just are as much as I love the United States we are trash okay we don't have a good vibe we don't produce quality cl anything quality um and I just feel like anything that's good especially as far as baby stuff you can only find abroad okay only find I'm wearing my lover necklace I love this so much it says um J and A and I love this pendant um and then I'm wearing this is a new necklace I'm launching some new things today I love it so much this is like the rich girl tier but it's on a big thick ball chain it's just like a little more edgy and I'm wearing my don't mind my my bruise which when I go to the doctor next week I will be letting him know about his phlebotomist I will you don't think I will I already have a photo I saved which you guys saw I'm gonna show him I'm going to because this was outrageous okay I'm um, wearing the the stack I love it this is the est bell it's so pretty it's like a big toggle chain I love this chain it's like a braid this is my rupave you guys know I love the rupave I wear it in the bracelet and necklace and I forgot the name of this but I this is a new chain that I did like a couple weeks ago three weeks ago or something and this is just a really nice stack I love it um also I have this this is also launching today I love this piece so much it's like a the hardware you guys know the hardwares I use are just so luxe and gorgeous and I love this chain so much um it's really heavy like a really nice gorgeous piece and then this is like my favorite chain to use one of my favorite chains to use so I wanted to use it in like a way and I think this is really pretty too I just didn't know if I should do like it's so cool right should I leave it on or is it too much? I don't know. I kind of love it. It's so pretty. Okay. So that's what I'm wearing today. Oh, and then earrings. Um, I usually don't wear earrings and necklaces to be honest. So to be honest, I would probably take this off, but I wasn't wearing this before. But anyway, I'll show you. So this is my glossy diamonds. I love it so much. It has like baguette crystals and rounds. And I love the shape. It's like super vintage -y. And then my cascade. And um, then I have my stacking hoop in the middle. So you guys can get stacking hoops. And then um, this is my drip drip. I love it. And then my um, pave serpents. Serpent paves, whatever. Um, stacking hoops are little like snakes. Okay, so that's that. All right, let's get started. I mean, what do you want? What do you want? Okay, so anyway, let's get started. What I'm going to say is... I, about 90% of the stuff I purchased is not from here. It's literally from abroad and I'm paying like 100 pounds or 100 euros just to have things shipped. Like it's that bad. But I'm not going to have a white trash child. Like I just will not. And I, you don't have to like, I'm not saying for everything that I've purchased, it's been the 100 pounds, 100 euro ship. But like it, like that's how much, that's how like the, the quality does not compare where sometimes I have to pay that because like I'm not, I need that item. You know what I mean? Okay. So let me show you to start off with some things. And I did get some things from like here too, but we'll go through one by one and, um, let's just start. So, okay. I got this and I'm just going to pull, I have boxes of stuff and not, some of it's not even like wrapped, unwrapped yet. This is the brand and you're lucky I'm telling you brands because you know I don't tell you guys shit because you're going to fuck it up and you're going to have your tube. Okay. If I show you guys this shit, you better not, you better wipe your fucking kid's damn noses off. I'm not kidding. If I fucking see a kid with this brand, I'm going to know it's you and I'm going to know your kid has a fucking snotty nose. Disgusting. Okay. This is Tartine at Chocolat. It's like a French brand and um, this is a baby bag, but it's also for the stroller. And look how cute this is. It's very vintage-y looking. It's also very, like, I love anything pink and white stripe. It's, like, very reminiscent of, like, Beverly Hills Hotel to me. But, like, classier because that place is ghetto now. Okay, so, so, um, so cute. I love it. It's just, like, a classic baby bag, which we wouldn't... Have you seen the baby bags people wear here? Oh, my God. What do people... Oh, my God, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I've never seen such literal bad taste in my whole life. And I'm not hanging out with mothers. I am not hanging out with any mothers. Okay, stop. It comes with this little bag for a bottle. Dumb. I don't care about that. But I love this little changer. And let me just show you guys the quality. Look, on one side, it's like terry cloth. 
and the other side it's like that really nice stripe and it doesn't matter it's like we can say that our stuff is 100% cotton here 100% cotton here is not the same as 100% cotton like produced like in baby clothes produced in Europe it's just not the same it doesn't compare I'm, I'm not I'm not kidding and you guys just wouldn't get it like if you're not it, you, I'm not like trying to tout my horn, but like I am, a, I have a very European brain. You don't get it. I am not going to raise my children like you do. You don't understand. Okay. You have some people out there have rat children. Okay. I will not have a rat child. Okay. So how pretty. And look at the embroidery. Look at that for the tar the T and the C. It's just cl classy. It's just very royal. It's just more like of um how like a baby like a baby is so pure and innocent and soft right and you guys go to fucking target and buy shit okay i can't, just cannot relate with like with like um, huge like logos not logos but like pictures of shit like why do you do that like oh my god okay it really bothers me okay so i'm gonna i have a whole box anyway i have like shit up here everywhere look but um, this is her closet, and I love the drawers. But anyway, I just want to... That's, like, stuff I'm not going to show you. I was going to show you stuff that just came in. <sighs> okay, let me just bring this box over here. So this is a box from um, Jakati. Jakati. I can't pronounce... No, and I, can't, I cannot pronounce names. I'm American, and I never took French, so I don't know how to pronounce names. So you shut up. So this came in. And I've... I have one at the mall of this, but it was kind of like underwhelming. Um, anyway, so this is what I got, and I'll show you guys inside. I haven't unwrapped it, I just opened the box for like you guys right now. So, I also like to purchase things like on sale because the stuff is really expensive, and I know she's gonna grow out of it really fast. So, I, I do like look for it because this is not cheap. Like, I don't even wear clothes this expensive, it's insane, like how expensive baby clothes are. But I feel like she's gonna be my only one, and so I'm just gonna do it like buy nice things. Okay, so look how cute this little, and I think everything is like made, it's like not made in China, you know what I mean? Like, this is, I think this is made in France. It says France on it, so I'm assuming... Oh, no, it's made in Vietnam. Not that... You know, I just... You know, that's bullshit, dude. That's bullshit. I'm paying for the fucking name then. Okay, dumb. Okay, sucks, but... Um, you know... <sighs> I'm gonna look at the clothes now once they're fucking made. Hold on, where are these made? Because... Thailand. I'm really... I'm really crushed right now. Okay, let's go through it, though. This... It's the quality... Oh, now I'm, like, not... Now I'm like not okay. <laughs> what 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 the fuck, dude? Okay, we're going through this. Anyway, the quality is way nicer. So they must just anyway, either way. Okay, so this. I'm so pissed off right now, you guys. Oh my fucking god, I'm so mad. I got this little rattle. Oh, this is made in China, don't worry. She's made in China. Why would I buy this? Like, why would I why would I buy this? Okay, what am I? I bought this little set. But it's like kind of too big. But I got it because it was on sale. Madagascar. <laughs> I want things to be made in like France, Spain, like, you know, UK. Madagascar again. Okay, these are like little onesies that say Bebe on the front. And I got, um, like, they're so cute. You can just feel the quality is just way better. Like the qu the cotton quality is way better than like anything I purchased. Like you guys told me to get like the onesies from like Zara and things like that, which I did. And I, I did get them in the beginning when I got pregnant. And like I, I got them, whatever, they're fine. But like it doesn't compare to this. It really doesn't. Like if you guys were to feel this, you could see, feel the quality, the difference in quality. But wow, Madagas Madagascar again. Okay, these are um short sleeved ones. Okay. Wait, why? Wait, what? Wait, excuse me? Hold on. Okay, dumb. I got this bib. It's Anna Sui. I love it. Where's this fucking made? China. Great. Oh my god! How cute is this, though? Anna Sui Mini. Okay, you getting the vibe? Okay, then I got this. I got this little outfit. And I think I posted it so you guys could see on my Insta. Look at this. It's a little corduroy thing. And then this goes underneath and it says petite on it. Cutest thing ever. Where the fuck is this made? Because this was fucking China. Because this was really expensive. 
this was like how much was this shit i was like 95 dollars 95 dollars for this like i'm sorry i i'm stupid i've just put so i'm you guys i'm only gonna have one and i i just don't know okay <sighs> i'm really upset right now i'm really fucking pissed okay then i want to show you guys some like white trash thing i got okay this is very white trash and i love it but i love care bears and um i've been seeing because like instagram is like giving me like a lot of baby stuff to look at right now and so i see like a lot of whatever people like baby baby companies okay so i see that like they're doing strawberry shortcake collabs which i love like um care bears collabs which i love but they are making them so ugly they are using the brightest most disgusting tacky colors that's another thing too why are you dressing your children in bright colors like it's weird it's that is not pure okay like do you not see how soft the colors should be like soft colors okay that wasn't that soft it was vintage but i gotta show you guys this like i showed you soft colors like stopping so fucking white trash it's it's true like that is white trash also prints is white trash okay stupid all right but i saw this i love care bears so much and i saw this and i was like this is cute it's a swaddle and it has like the gloomy or the grumpy bear on it so this is her white trash swaddle because it's like just giving like america <laughs> like but i love it but you know what i mean um so cute and it's like that bamboo -y stuff so whatever it's just dumb but i thought he was really cute okay that and then i got this this is something that i've been waiting because it was on sale and then it went like off sale and then so i was like fuck that i'm just gonna wait till it goes on sale again because i know it goes on sale it's so cute it's that brand blue marine it's the same brand as my bag that i got where is this made this fucking better be made somewhere else because this is not cheap Where the fuck? Okay, I can't tell. I don't, I don't know. But look how cute this is. <laughs> look at the little diamond. Okay. So cute thing. Okay, and this is a little bit like, okay. When Greek, we have this word called a, a muliko. Do you guys know what muliko is? Like, okay, are any Greek people out there? Muliko to us is like, or it means like a very bratty, like out of control child like an off put like like a brat it's like a fucking little brat like ew like that i think that's what it is that's what i've always said it was it's a tiny bit muriko ish i feel like because of like the diamond detail or whatever but i don't know i just really really loved it so um hopefully it looks cute on her i don't know and i really try to stay away from muriko clothes because like the, something screams muriko like um, I wish I had an example. I, th I think you guys know. Like, it's straight giving me, like, white trash child. Okay. There's another brand. It's Feltman Brothers, which I know a lot of you guys know. Let's look at this together. Um, okay. This is a little bit too, like, um, Southern Belle for me. I do love... I think Southern Belle is cute, whatever, but it's not me. It's not my style. And, you know, I'm from Southern California. We can't really be dressing our children here like Southern Bells. We just look weird. Like, it just doesn't go, right? Um... So if I saw a little kid wearing this here, it's kind of like, it's a little strange. It just doesn't fit. I'm telling you, like you guys, know, if you're from here, you kind of get it. Like you kind of know, like, I don't know, but I did buy this because I think it's the cutest thing ever. Um, look at all the detail on there. And it's, this is, I know this is made in China or Philippines, made in the Philippines. Um, and it's whatever. I don't, I knew it wasn't, it, it should be made here in the States. This is like an old United States, like company company from the states whatever but look how cute this is it's called like a balloon or something i forget what it's called but i got this and then i got the matching bonnet and i got the matching shoes they're little like just shoes and the packaging is very like if you were going to go to a mall in like the 1940s right and i just feel like it's like look at the hangers very old school and it's, it's like it's pretty so i also need to just come up with like what she's gonna wear when she comes home right like something coming home from the hospital but i don't know what that is yet okay next thing i talk about is something else like sorry i'm like really out of breath um okay so i went and you guys saw this right so i went to a um antique store whatever vintage store 
and um I got this I only went for these I really wanted these I saw them I don't think they're vintage they're just like phony vintage but I really wanted them and I was like I really want to make her an Easter basket like even though she's not here yet like she's like a, she'll be like a month late for Easter um like why should I just kind of want to make her an Easter basket so I think I may make her an Easter basket and like put it on my first of my my subbies like if you guys want to see that we can make an Easter basket for her together and just like she can have it when she gets here <laughs> okay so I'm gonna talk about books now and um, because um I can't like with I cannot with the new age books okay so I went to Marshall's the other day just to peruse you guys know I love to peruse Marshall's and everything was so white trash that it was disgusting like it was white trash and it was ghetto okay this it was um, I'm, not, I'm not allowed to say the word ghetto. Did you know that? Okay, fuck off. So um, I saw this. I thought it was so cute. And it was only $6. And this is cute. Like, this is literally giving Jakati. Like, that thing I showed you, that little fucking... This is also made in China. Same thing, okay? So this is really cute. Uh, I gotta wash everything, though. I haven't washed anything. I got that. And then I got this, the Madeline book. And I am, like, gonna be so... Look, I'm never gonna, like, let my kid read some, like, white trash book or some, like, woke book. Oh, my God. So, I'm keeping with books that I know. Um, and I also don't like the photo, like, the, the pictures they do sometimes. It's just ugly, okay? And I only want to choose pretty things and things that I like. So, I'm not gonna choose, like, some ugly... Everything nowadays is woke and gross. So, I got the Madeline book. So cute. And it's, like, the hard one so that she can play with it, whatever. Okay. <sighs> then there's a whole other layer to this, and that is Sanrio, Okay. You guys know that I love Sanrio so much. I've always been a big Sanrio person, Hello Kitty, since I was a baby, right? Since I was, like, a kid. Like, like I'm a, whatever. Huge Sanrio fan. Um, but Sanrio has, like, also gotten a little bit, like, WT, to be honest. It's just, like, with Sign of the Times. And American, American Sanrio is different than Japanese Sanrio. So when you go to like Japan or if you buy things like online from Japan that are Sanrio, the quality is totally different. The colors are totally different. Um, it's just different. It's upscale and then squalor trash. Okay, I'm telling you, it's just true. It's like white trash. Like they know we're white trash. They know that we don't require, we, we're just dumb. We have no vibe. So they, they like make white trash stuff for us and they keep the good stuff for them because we probably wouldn't even like the nice stuff here. How we would like pick up, pick it up. We probably like pick out the disgusting white trash stuff if we, if they put the good stuff here. Like that's how just no vibe we have here. I'm telling you guys, it's the truth because I've seen children. I've seen children out there and the things they have and it's disgusting. Okay. It's true. So for example, this is from Japan and it's, do you see how things are different? Like, okay, it's a rattle for her hand. I'm not letting her have, like, white trash stuff. She's just never going to be white trash, okay? It's just, I can't stand white trash kids. Okay, the next thing I got is this. I think I showed this to you on Insta. This is a vintage baby Dior. I got it from eBay. And I'm just pre pleasantly surprised because it was just a hit or miss. And it's really cute. It says there's, like, a little lamb. It says baby Dior. And it's very, like, I don't know, 80s or something? So cute. Okay, that... Then the next brand I'm going to show you guys is this. It's called Atelier Shoe, I think. And um, I got a couple of these swaddles. And they're just like made in... These are made in France. Made in France. Okay, thank God. And I got this one. I also got the one with the carousel on the front. Um, this one just has all of like macaroons and desserts and things like that. And just, it's so cute. They don't make enough stuff though. Like this brand needs to put out way more shit. They only put out like bedding and like some of this. And then I found this and it's so cute. It's a little onesie with um, macarons and French desserts and things all over it. Coke, isn't it like a coke and bush or something? Yeah. Just really cute. And like the imagery on it is not white trash. Okay. Dude, I've never, I've never seen a, a cute child here. Like, I've just never seen a, it's not cute. I've never seen, like, a well-prepared child. I just have never seen it. I don't get it. Like, I just don't get it. I've never seen one. I, t I'm sorry. I've never seen one. And don't tell me you have, because I know you haven't. Unless it's yours and, like, you can prove it. I haven't seen one. And you know it's fucking true. Okay. Next thing I got is a little, like, mulico-ish. I don't know the word to say. It's like a brat. Like a little snot-nosed brat. Like, I don't know, like, why are you wearing that? Okay, but I got this. I think it's really cute. It's very European. I think those are European, too. 
this is made in Turkey. Okay. I know Turkey does make like really good cotton, right? Okay. So I got this and usually I'd be so against this. If this was not a European brand, I would never buy it. Okay. Because it's white trash. This, um, is little unicorns and it's just very bright for what I'd usually choose. Uh, I might not use this to be honest. I don't know. It's very cute, but I feel like it's for an older, an older child. Like, I don't know. Babies should not be in bright colors. Like, Babies are pure. Like, take note of the colors I chose. Like, they are very, very, very muted pastels, okay? Like, I, it's, I'm not giving a white trash child, okay? This is older, though. This is, like, nine months. Ooh, this looks bigger to me. Okay, so this, but it's a European brand, I think. Um, This and then these. Look at how cute. Like, I feel like this is something that you know, I would buy if I was in, like, Greece as a kid. Like, this is the outfit my mom would buy, pick up for me. Um, it looks very European to me, like very Greek. Um, I don't know. And it's just like fruits. And I, I chose it to go with this little outfit. But she's not going to have the th stuff that uh, the rat children wear. No, she will not. She will never have that. Okay. Um, and then what else should I show you? So I just have like so much stuff. To be honest, not like so much, but I just have like stuff that I have some stuff that I like Stife. Do you guys know what Stife is? Okay, Stife is, a, you guys know, the rats out there wouldn't. The rats out there, they know um, Build-A-Bear and they know, um, I don't know, what are those, like squash mellows? Not that I want my, my, my child get those things, like, you know, whatever, but like you have no mix of class in your vibe. You just give, you only do like white trash, so you're just white trash. Like you need to mix in some European vibes too or your kid looks like shit. All right. So you guys know what Stife is. If you don't, it's like a German bear company and they usually make like the expensive ones are made of wool. So now they make ones that are made in China and they're like regular stuffed animals, but they're shit. So if you, you have to get the real ones that are made in Germany with wool or it doesn't count. Okay. That's the truth. Whatever. I personally will never buy Stife because my parents overdid it. Like they only, like, I swear, like they only like not only, it's not true, I had a lot of clit toys, but they loved, like, European, like, wooden toys and, like, Stife, and I didn't, like, well, you can't get that for a kid, like, they don't like that, but my parents bought me that shit, like, sometimes, and I didn't like it, and then it sat on the shelf, and I, I just, it was stupid, and it was, like, a waste of money, so I'm not gonna do that, because I don't feel like kids enjoy that kind of stuff. Anyway, I just get off on tangents. Okay, so I got these, I guess Stife does, like, clothes, too, <laughs> it's so cute. So if you guys don't know, I'll give you a lecture for like the white trash rats out there because I'm feeling very generous today. Um, it's like, it has like the Stife um, logo, which is like a yellow ribbon on the ear. Anyway, so these are little booties and I got, I got oh, I got a Stife hat too. Oh my God, I should show you. So these are cute Stife bears. Where is the Stife hat? Hold on. Where the fuck is that? This is all like, this is all like, um, European clothing up here. It's all European. Like nothing out here is like from the States. Now I'm fucking everything. Oh, that's the they them piece of shit one where you guys know from Walmart. Oh, fuck. oh my god, I don't know where it is. I don't know. I don't know where it is. Okay, so those are just some of the things that I bought when I got this too. Oh, I'll just show you. Um, okay, let me just show you um, this other brand is La Coquette, which I kind of um, bought when I was like sick. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I do like it, but it's a little bit. Okay, so this I bought and it comes with underwear. This is all made in Spain. It's cute, but it's a little, I don't know. I think I kind of like just wasn't thinking. And my, when I was sick, I got, there's a lot, a lot more stuff too. There's only two. I got like five or six things from them. It's cute, but I'm like, it's a little pilgrimy, isn't it? Like, I don't know if this is my vibe. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't really like the pe peasant peasanty stuff. I kind of do, but like, I don't know. I got this too. Like, I literally just, when I found out I was pregnant with a girl and like, whatever, the egg was not, that she didn't like put the egg in my asshole. 
<laughs> you guys know, if you know, you know, um, that I got really excited and I got stuff on eBay. I got all these like vintage things on eBay, which I love, but this one just arrived. Like it's really cute, but like, I don't know if I'll show ever wear that. It's kind of like, I don't know. Is this for a doll? Like, I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. Okay. <sighs> so that's it. That's my lesson today on just not doing like on, on like you guys I don't know it's either you get it you get it you don't you don't and I'm sure you're gonna get mad at me um it's very rare that I see children out there that who are presented properly like it just is and it's just it's unfortunate but it's just because parents don't know um but just clean like the fucking boogers out of the nose like why do they have crusted boogers like I don't understand why your child has a crusted booger nose I, I just don't get it or why they have like stains all over their shirts or why you have to pick out like bright colored shirts with like prints all over them like let's just have like get a little bit of class back please because it's just gross um it's just the truth and whatever okay so that's it I'm gonna go um I just started taking photos of these this morning I'm gonna go launch them now so you'll probably see them either when this is up or a little bit after and um I may do a slash too sometimes I do slashes for my new items I haven't done a slash in a while so I may do a slash for my new items but okay that's it i hope you guys like this so you can see the vibe of her vibe what her vibe is going to be i do have an idea of the name and um i kind of shared a little bit about it if on my so i have subscriptions on my um insta so i kind of like share more personal stuff there and the name that i was talking about on there with you guys i think i might put that as a middle name now and then i thought of another name so I'm still trying to think though. And what else? Oh, okay. I got a, I'm, I'm having a baby shower. I'm hosting it myself. Um, just a few people, whatever, not a few, just like very small group. And I got a baby blue dress for it <laughs> because I can't wear pink. I look, I'm a pig. I have like, I have pink undertones. So if I wear pink, I look like a pig. Do you see what I mean? Like, and I thought this is like a cool tone. Like, I look like a pig if I if I wear pink. I just can't wear pink, I feel like. Certain pinks, like this pink. See what I mean? I look like I'm naked. And this is the color the dress was. So I got this baby blue dress. I'm really excited to wear it. It's a little scandalous, kind of. But it is it is a maternity dress, so I don't know. Um, And yeah, that's it. Okay, guys. I hope you like this. <laughs> Bye.